Well, guys, this video is going to be about my Roomba 675 and how I brought it back from the dead. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment or question down below. Let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. I'm going to show you why my Roomba 675 stopped running and working properly. I'm going to show you how I fixed it. It's a do-it-yourself fix. Cost you about 50 bucks. I'm going to show you a couple of replacement pots and things that you can do on your own as well. And I'm going to include all the Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to pick up so much as a Roomba 675 yourself or any other replacement pots that I'll show you in the video. So what happened to my Roomba 675? Well, like normal, I would hit the clean button in the center of the Roomba. It would drive around the room, no problem, just like it always does. The thing is, it wouldn't pick up anything, period. And so what I did was I said, something's wrong. And I put it on my countertop here. It would drive around my countertop, kind of bumping into things, no problem. Everything kind of sounded normal. But I used a flashlight to look under the Roomba here. And what I saw was the brushes, both brushes, the rubber and the bristle brush were not spinning. So it was basically just like a remote control car driving around the room, bouncing into things, but it wouldn't pick up anything. So what happened? What broke? This broke. This is the cleaning head for the Roomba, okay? You can see the brushes in there, the bristles and things like that. Both of those brushes would not spin. Now, why? How did I figure this out? And how did I replace this thing? Well, this is what's gonna cost you about 50 bucks off of Amazon. And that's gonna save your Roomba 500 series, 600 series, and your 700 series. This cleaning head in the Amazon affiliate link down below is good for all the 500s, the 600s, and the 700s. So for example, I have a 675, that's obviously part of the 600 series. If you have a 700 something or 500 something, this cleaning head is gonna help you fix your problem as well. So what happened to the cleaning head? Well, I'm gonna spin this and see if you guys can hear the noise here. Now you guys shouldn't be hearing any noise. It should be almost dead silent. And that noise that you're hearing is actually coming from this part right here, okay? And you can see there's a couple of screws. What you wanna do is you can kinda gently move this black kinda piece here so you can expose the side of your cleaning head. And what this is here, that noise that you're hearing is this is a gearbox and it's full of tiny little plastic gears. The problem is that when your brushes receive any type of obstruction, and in my case, I had my Roomba cleaning my basement floor, which is very, very clean. I used the push broom to get up all the big debris. I missed a nail. Nail went up here, the Roomba did its job and the nail got plugged in here in the brushes. And what ended up happening was the Roomba didn't shut off in time or something, and basically it stripped all of these gears in here. Uh, I noticed when I pulled the cover off, and I'll show you guys these gears because I really don't care about this cleaning head anymore. Uh, I'll pull this off and you'll see all the little gears in here. Little pro tip too, and I didn't know this until I took this thing apart, that in this little gearbox here, you might want to actually take this thing, because you can take it apart and not break anything. You might want to take it off, you know, once a year or something like that, and you're going to find dog hair and all this other junk in here that can actually clog up the gears and give you problems as well that maybe lead to you replacing the cleaning head or throwing away your $300 Roomba. Let me pull this cover off so you guys can see the gears and I'll show you what happened. All right, so I have all the screws out. You want to make sure you know where these screws went if you're not ready to throw away the cleaning head. 
I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have a very long screw here, about an inch or two, and then I have probably a quarter inch screw here. There's two small screws, four long screws. You wanna make sure you know which holes they went into. You don't wanna screw that up if you're not ready to throw this thing away. But, I don't care. These are the gears. You guys can see. And if you could see in here closely, you could actually see this gear right here and this guy right here are in real bad shape. That's what's causing all the noise. And again, this thing was all plugged with hair when I originally pulled it off and trying to clean this thing out and make it work. So, so that's a failed cleaning head. So now what do you do? All right, so what you guys would wanna do is, first off, I took off the little cleaning brush, the side brush here. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. You take out the center screw on that, pop it off. Okay, next thing you wanna do, and I'll show you guys this, is you would pull off cleaning basket here, or whatever you wanna call it, the little vacuum receptacle. Maybe that's a good word for it. You'd remove that, so I'd pull this guy out, right? So you have some room to work. Cause you're trying to get this piece out here. Now this is the replacement head. This is the thing that I bought off Amazon and it's been working incredibly well. It's beautiful. It's actually quieter than the original head that I had here, the junk head. What you would wanna do, Pull off the side brush, single screw, and then there's one, two, three, four screws, and there's little arrows next to them right there. You guys can probably see that. You undo those screws and this whole plastic piece comes off, okay? And the thing you can do now is underneath here, you're gonna see the battery. You can replace the battery if the battery ever fails. The other thing you can do is this cartridge, this cleaning head, just simply pops out. And then you would take, for example, if this were the new one, you would just simply figure out the orientation here for it, which would be something like that, and you would just simply drop it in there and plug it in. What do I mean by plug it in? Well, the thing you just need to be careful of, not crazy careful of, but you just have to be aware of, is there's a little electrical connector right there. Let me see if I can focus on that thing for you guys. And what you wanna do is make sure that that does not get damaged. It shouldn't get damaged. It should just go straight into the uh, other end of this thing when you plug it in. But you just need to be careful about that. And then basically what you would do is you would put the black cover back on, which is this thing with the four screws here. Put that in. And then you're gonna put your screws back in, your four screws, tighten them down. Put your brush back in, tighten your brush in, put your little receptacle back in, boom, and then this thing is ready to go and clean your house again. Now the replacement parts beyond what I just showed you guys that I wanna show you is this little kit that I got. The Roomba replacement parts are pretty darn expensive. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I bought this guy. So again, link down below. And this has worked out great for me. I've been very happy with this. Uh, you get a bunch, I think there were like five or six of the filters. You get a bunch of the, I think, again, I think there's six of the side brushes. You get a little brush here, screwdriver, a couple of little screws here for the side brush, you can see that. And then of course you get a bristled brush and the rubber brush. And if I remember right, I got three bristled brushes and three rubber brushes there. And you guys will see the price if you click the link down below for the replacement parts. It's gonna be a fraction of what you would pay Roomba directly to get the factory parts from Roomba. Just hold the side brush, you get the screw out of the middle there. Slides off. And I'm gonna take out those four screws on the black piece that I showed you guys. Remember these screws have the little arrows next to them so you can't mix it up. This thing just pops off, see that? Boom. And then basically what you have here, like I said, you have your battery. So if you wanted to replace your battery ever, you just have these pull tabs, you pull the battery up and you're good to go. So to remove the cleaning head, you have a screw here, screw here, screw here, and a screw here. You remove those, the cleaning head's gonna pop right out. And boom, there it is. There's the cleaning head. 
That's the one I bought off of Amazon and it works fantastic. You guys will see that little connector that I was telling you about that you want to plug the little circuit board into. That's what that's what that is right there. And that's it. All right, guys, I'm going to take a couple of minutes, put this thing back together and go clean my freaking living room. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.